last couple of days, many people have been asking me what the 10th anniversary of 9-11 means. I think it's a time of reflection, a time of remembrance, a time to remember the nearly 3,000 men, women, and children lost in the attacks of September 11. A time to honor more than 6,000 service members in our Screaming Eagles who have given their lives in Afghanistan and Iraq. A time to thank the tens of thousands of our wounded warriors and the Gold Star family members of our fallen heroes. Throughout history, certain images have become ingrained in our minds. The flags being raised at Iwo Jima, the day President Kennedy was killed, the day Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon. For all of us though, the memory of September 11, 2001 will be forever etched in our minds and indelibly imprinted in our souls. We'll never forget the images of the planes flying into the World Trade Center, or the smoke rising from the Pentagon, or the inspirational words of Todd Beamer on the United flight, Let's Roll. We will never forget the courage and compassion of the first responders who raced into those burning, smoking buildings the day, that day to save their fellow men and women. How we responded that day, the decade that has followed, is a testament to the American spirit. We honor and remember those we lost, but we recognize that in an instance, a generation of Americans was forever changed. Initial fear and anger was quickly replaced with resilience and determination. Determination to hold those responsible accountable and to once again ensure freedom and safety in the world. Within a month of that tragic event, the rocket signs, Destiny, the 160th, and Fifth Special Forces groups were called upon to answer our nation's call. In the de decades since 9-11, Screaming Eagles, Night Stalkers, Fifth Group, Many other units across Fort Campbell have deployed time and time again. Yet we know that the 101st will be called upon again to stand strong against those who wish us harm, those who threaten our national security, and those who want to deprive us of our freedoms. We are fortunate that extraordinary young men and women will continue to step forward, willing, willing to sacrifice, willing to put others before themselves, so that we might all enjoy the freedoms and prosperity of this great nation. We have always been blessed with a wonderful, supportive community at Fort Campbell, but I would argue that 9-11 has forged an even stronger bond. Throughout a decade of deployments, countless flights of soldiers all have deployed a return with a hearty farewell or a warm welcome back from a steadfast, supporting community. Our wounded warriors have been comforted by strong handshakes and heartfelt hugs. Our families have been supported in difficult times of loss. The people of Clarksville, Hopkinsville, and Oak Grove have demonstrated time and time again how grateful they are for our soldiers. Yet on this day of reflection, we want to thank you for making us a part of your community. How about a big hand for our community? So we pause on this day and reflect. We reflect on a decade of war that has brought change to our nation, in our army, in us. We honor those who have given so much. We remember our screaming eagles who are in harm's way today. And we give thanks for those who continue to serve. May God bless you all as you strive to make this world a better, safer place for our children to live. We remain here assault strong.